Hi fellow YouTubers, Red Razor 56 here. Let's do a video today on uh, trying to get some free heat into the cab. Uh, today we're working on a 2015 Razor 900S. Uh, the same thing would apply to any year model of the two-seater XP1000s that have the cool little kind of innovative plate which falls out all the time but that's another story. Uh, in between the front passenger seats or on a four-seater it would be in between the rear passenger seats where you can pull this plate uh, and I need to correct myself on that uh, I'm not certain the 1000 four-seaters uh, have this plate in the rear let's just talk about the two-seaters today this is the plate that you would pull out to get access to your oil check dipstick and your oil filter and of course you are checking your oil each time you ride or every two or three days right okay um, you'll notice that there's a fair amount of heat that comes out from behind this plate in between the seats in the summertime that area gets extremely warm uh, it'll toast a sandwich if you got one shoved in between the seats so we know there's tons of heat back there it's just forward of the exhaust manifold and the air filter uh, regular turbulence from riding the machine uh, kicks up enough air that it's actually pushing a lot of hot air up against this plate. We don't ride in a really cold climate, uh, but it gets cold enough that the uh, full windshield and the full doors and even our aftermarket seat heaters that I've installed, it, it'd be nice just to have a little bit more heat, but I don't want to add all the plumbing and all the issues that go with an in-cab heater. Again, we're not riding up in the northern climates where we see 20 degree days all the time and bitter cold nights. So just adding a little bit of heat would be a good idea. So I came up with a little deal and, and I'm just experimenting with this right now. I took a piece of Lexan. You can see my hand fits through this. And what I've done is I've, I've made a frame and this is just some leftover Lexan or plexiglass, call it whatever you want, um, some scraps of it. And I've made a frame out of this. The easiest way to cut plexiglass is with a circular saw or a table saw and a plywood blade. You'd think it would shatter in a million pieces, but you really do get some nice cuts on here. I didn't even take my time. I haven't sanded this because this is just a trial, uh, what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm not 100% certain it's going to work, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on the initial project until I see what the results are. But if you simply remove the oil check access door, there's a good possibility that a glove or a pair of sunglasses or something could fall down in there and land on top of a red hot surface on the motor, maybe even get tangled up in some moving parts. So that's not a good idea to just pull that out and ride around with an unprotected area. So I thought, well, let's put some screen wire. I've got some leftover aluminum screen wire. I'm not going to use fiberglass on this because it's quite a bit of heat back in there and I've made this frame and uh, again this is just temporary and I'm going to put velcro on the on the bottom surface where that leans down against the bottom and then of course the grab handles at the top for your oil stick this is a nice flat surface to support the thing and just a little bit of velcro here and here um, actually I'm going to do it like this here because I've got my no, I'm going to do it like this right here because I got my verticals super glued to the outside. And all I did was just use some regular, this is just crazy glue right here, nothing fancy, um, and just a dot of super glue on all four corners. And I've got a pretty, pretty sturdy uh, frame for this screen wire. And then I'm going to take some of this aluminum screen and just place it on this. And I'm going to use some Loctite stick and seal. And I know it says indoor adhesive. It's just, it's just not waterproof. And again, I want to do this as a temporary to see if my efforts are even worth what I'm going through right now. If it turns out to be good, I'll probably go something a little bit more elaborate and have this uh, uh, screen wire device back in my toolbox and on a warm day of course I'm going to ride with the with the black insert in there to keep the heat off of me on the colder days I'm going to put this in and allow some heat to come forward I don't think that there's a ton 
of dirt that comes through there. I know some dust comes through. I'm, I should say, I know, I don't think there's a ton of mud that comes through there. It's inboard of the splash zone from the tires and everything. And I'm not saying that you couldn't get some water to enter through this screen wire right here. But generally speaking, we avoid water crossings in cold weather. And if we do cross them, they're very shallow and we proceed across at a very low rate of speed. Um, just so we don't get ourselves wet. And then of course, then your day's over when you get wet and it's cold outside. So this is just a little trick and I'm going to keep you updated on this and see how it works. Um, let's, uh, let's think about some new ideas on uh, the material right here. Cause not everybody has fiberglass. Uh, aluminum is going to be a little harder to work with, but you know, again, with all these homemade projects with your Polaris, your razor, your Ranger, whatever, Use your head, go up into your workshop, look around for stuff that's laying around that you can repurpose into a new project. And uh, it makes it a lot of fun to, to, to personalize your machine. We're going to try to get some free, hot, free heat out of this thing. And uh, also want to remind you that we have filmed uh, with the people from Destination Polaris have come to Cloud9 Ranch in Caulfield, Missouri. They came in late October. And we will be on air on Fox Sports channels sometime in January. And I'll keep everybody updated with a YouTube video with dates and times. It was a lot of fun. And uh, hope you get a chance to watch it. Red Razor 56 and live to ride another day.